Hi there, this is Julie with Photo Fab Paper Flowers and we're going to make a uh, flower using the Kelly Mini Flower Template. So I like to take existing templates and create new flowers with them. And you're gonna cut everything according to the image at the beginning of this video. Also linked down in the description below is a link to a PDF instruction document available in my Photo Fab Paper Flower Makers group on Facebook. And again, you're gonna just set everything up in your machine's design space and cut it according to that document or the image at the beginning of this video. There are two um, different petals with the Kelly Mini Flower and we are using petal one design, which is the wider petal, and then petal two, which is a skinnier. Also comes with the template, a sepal and a center, and we are using that and leaves you can use to um, decorate your projects at all, any size that you need according to what you're making at that time. Also, we're gonna be using our Surebonder Mini Glue Gun. I do like this because it does fold up. And I am using Gorilla Glue Sticks. <laughs> Sorry, the laundry is going in the background if you do hear it. Um, I'm using some precision scissors. I have my color-coded dowel rod set. So if you do need any paper flower tools, I do offer them in my Etsy shop. At certain times of the year, they do go offline just because I do um, travel for a few weeks. Our flower shaping mat. We also need uh, a bone folder, slotted quilling tool, and our metal ball stylus tool. So let's go ahead and get started. And optionally, you can ink your um, center and your petals. And I am going to be using my two favorite, which are Vintage Photo and Ground Espresso. <laughs> so um, again, the laundry, I can hear it in the background. You may probably don't hear it, but it makes me laugh. So for our center, I am going to ink them. So this is the Flamingo Paperback by Recollections from Michael. So I'm going to just take my finger dabbers and just add a little bit of color. Um, and depending on your project, you may not want to use any ink or you ink it a lot. So again, lots of different options. I'm just here to inspire you today to create your first or your thousands paper flower. So I like to add a little bit on the front and on the back. There is also a Facebook tutorial available and it is linked in the instruction document below. And I did use a different color for the, that flower. And I'll add a little bit more color once it is assembled. So now I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just going to pull and curl it. <laughs> okay. So then it'll have like a slight curl to the, the center. Thread one end into the slotted quilling tool Okay, and then you're gonna roll it towards you. I roll it a few times, and because this is a longer center, I am going to secure, secure it right in the beginning. So add a little bit of glue, and then roll it towards you, keeping that bottom edge aligned. And then we secure the end. I'm going to press down a little bit while it's still on the slotted cooling tool to give it a nice shape. Okay. Remove it from your slotted cooling tool. And now I'm just gonna go back in with the ground espresso. And I can, you can see I continually use my finger dabbers and it, what's great about that is it holds the ink.
All right, so for our sepal, we're going to take our blue dowel rod, which is our 3 16 So they are hand color coded, whether you get the 12 inch dowel rod set or the six inch. So place it down in the middle of the pedal, thumb on top, index finger underneath. It holds the dowel rod in place. And then you're just gonna pinch it up with your thumb and then just roll it a few times between your finger. Holds the dowel rod. Once your other hand comes around it, let go and roll it a few times. Okay, and you do this for all the petals of your sepal. Flip it over because our sepal, I like to assemble mine with the petals rolled under. Okay, now we start from the largest to smallest for our styling of our petals of our mini flower. So I like to flip them over. And we have two, a petal one. And these, since these are wider, we're gonna go to a little bit larger diameter dowel rod, which is our olive green, quarter inch. And again, you place it down in the middle of the petal thumb, index finger holds the dowel rod in place. Then with your other hand, lift it up with your thumb and then roll it between your fingers. And I am pressing hard. Pinch it up, let go, and roll it. So we call it the pinch and roll technique. Pinch it up and roll. Pinch and roll. Now for layer one, I am going to assemble that with the petals rolled under. So I'm going to flip that over and then we have layer two, the petals are rolled up. Layer three, you can see we switch to our um, petal design number two, which has a much thinner or much um, less width to the individual petals. So now we're gonna um, change our size dowel rod and we're gonna go to our blue, our coastal blue, which is our 3 16th. So just place that down in the middle of the petal, thumb, index finger, and then pinch it up and roll it a few times. So it takes the curl, the shape of your dowel rod. Pinch it up and roll. I apologize, it must be on the spin cycle now, my laundry. Pinch and roll. Okay. And now we flip back to petal design number one. Now these are actually the same size, um, but just because the width of the petal is wider, it looks a little bit larger. We're still gonna use our blue 3 16 this is for um, layer number four. So place it down in the middle of the petal, thumb, index finger, pinch it up and roll. Pinch it up and roll. Okay. And now we flip back to pedal two design. So we just keep flipping back and forth. So now my pedal's getting pretty skinny, so we're going to switch to the purple dowel rod, which is our 1 8 inch dowel rod. So place it down in the middle of the pedal, pinch it up, and roll. So it's gonna have a nice curl to it. Pinch and roll. Now we'll go back to petal design number one. And again, this is the same exact size, but because the petal's a little bit wider, we flip back to our blue dowel rod. And again, all of this is notated on that written instruction document. So if you're a little bit confused, don't worry, it's written there. 
and it is free to access my PhotoFab Paper Flower Makers group on Facebook. Pinch and roll. All the templates are available for purchase in my Etsy shop. And now we go back to petal number two. So this is our two and a quarter inch. So again, since it's a lot skinnier or thinner, we're gonna go to our purple dowel rod, which is our one eighth. So place it down in the middle of the petal, pinch it up and roll around. So you can see again, it has a nice curl to the petal. And then the last two petals, we're gonna create them from the center out, meaning we're going to assemble that with our center and then glue it into the finished flower. So we're gonna take our precision scissors, and these are just from Dollar Tree. You're gonna make a slight little sliver towards the center. You just, in between each petal, but you just don't wanna cut the petals off. So ever so slightly, just a tiny, tiny, tiny little sliver. And it's just gonna make our center a little bit smaller. And now we can roll them up with the purple dowel rod, which is our one eighth. Okay, place it down in the middle of the petal, pinch it up and roll. Pinch it up and roll. I do like a fuller flower, and the reason why I do do that is so they don't open up. They actually keep the shape of how we styled it for a couple of years. I've had some flowers um, in my home, hanging on my wall or in arrangements for quite a few years. Oops, I'm sorry, but it was the last two we do from the center out. <laughs> so now we can take our flower shaping mats And I do like to stand when I assemble, so hopefully the audio stays good. So I'm gonna flip my foot petals over because we work from largest to smallest. And again, layer one, the petals are rolled under. So since they're rolled under, we do need to roll this center with our metal ball stylus tool to get it small or to make it flat. Now I'm not gonna be stemming my flower this time because I'm not sure what I'm gonna be using these for. Okay, so layer one, layer two, the petals are rolled up. Just roll with your metal ball stylus on your flower shaping mat right where the petals meet the base. So you can see it lifts them right up. We add a little bit of hot glue on layer two. Okay, you look at your top two petals, choose any petal and bring it straight down in between and press. Layer three switches to petal two design. We still do that same technique. You roll right around where the petals meet the base on your flower shaping mat. Add a little bit of hot glue. And now our size changed. So, and our shape. So look at your top two petals. Bring it straight down in between. And I like to rotate in between each layer just to keep it even. Roll where the petals meet the base. Add a little bit of hot glue. Again, look at your top two petals from your previous layer. Look at a petal and bring it straight down in between and press. Go to your next layer, you flip it over and again roll right where the petals meet the base. Look at the top two petals, look at a petal and bring it straight down in between and press. Okay. 
Keep rotating that flower to keep everything even. Roll right where the petals meet the base. You can see it lifts them up very nicely. Look at the top two petals, look at the petal and bring it straight down in between. And now you can use your metal ball stylus to make sure it's secure. Now at any time you can stop and choose your own center or add something in the middle. So and that's what's fun about paper flowers. I can inspire you and then you can tweak it for your project's needs. Look at the top two petals, look at a petal and bring it straight down in between. And then use your metal ball stylus to make sure it's secure. And now for our center and then our last two petals. I mentioned we were gonna create it from the center out. And that just means we're gonna roll directly in the center because these are the two that we cut. Okay, so you can see my center is now much smaller. We're going to take our rolled center that we assembled, add some glue in the bottom and around the sides. Just watch your fingers. We're just going to choose one, glue it right in the center, hardest part, <laughs> and lift those petals up and around. And they should fall one in front of the other and then just press at the bottom to make sure it's secure. Add additional glue to the center. And now we look at a side petal. And if I pulled that petal back, it should fall right in between these two. And then I just fold up and around. Add your hot glue. And again, we look at a petal, look at two petals and bring it straight down in between. We're going to give it a moment to dry and in the meantime we're going to, since I like my sepal petals rolled under we're going to add some glue to the top and just a little bit out each petal. Now if I what chose to then stem this for a different project I would just cut another sepal at a little bit smaller size and then I have a double sepal in there and that's okay. Place it right in the center. I looked at the top two petals and placed this in between. So now I'm just going to go back and highlight the shape of my center. I like to start with the vintage photo first. Still using that same finger dabber and just brush it on. And we can move our petals around if things start to shift. Now this is a little bit darker color than I made my other flowers. So we are definitely add some of our ground espresso to highlight the shape. And then I like to come up from the bottom because depending on your project, you do see it at different angles and just keep rotating it around. And then we're gonna go in with the ground espresso. And 
whatever color ink you use, it's gonna depend again on the, the color of your paper that you choose. This is 65 pound cardstock is generally what I use to make my paper flowers. And then what I like to do I just want to shape it a little bit. And there you have a super simple flower, but she's gorgeous. And beautiful in any color that you choose. Thank you for watching.